Today I'll be discussing being threatened on a Discord server. How do you know if it's real or not? Now in a Discord server by the name of Sour Apples, please don't join, I was threatened over and over. There is a man that goes by the name of Darren. Darren's had brain issues. He has problems. And he also goes to visit other Spreaker hosts throughout the, I guess, the West Continental America. But who's to stop him from coming to my door, right? He first started talking about my daughter. I have screenshots of this. My daughter is a minor. And we made a bet. He said, I didn't do that. I'm like, oh, yes, you did. And we had a witness. Uh, he, he goes by the name of Beppe or Pedro or... He's a nice guy. And um, I got a screenshot of where he was talking about my daughter. This is where all this chaos stems from. And so I posted it. I said, there it is. And uh, he bet me $100. I bet you $100 that you can't find anything like that. He didn't say it didn't exist, that I couldn't find it. I found it. So I, I took a screenshot and posted it. And Beppe witnessed it. And there you go. He owes me $100. Well, I really didn't think he would do the honorable thing and at least say that he lost. I mean, he lost the bet, right? So in a few servers that we were both in, I would say, where's my $100, Darren? And then I started calling him Darnella. Well, I don't know. I got creative. And he would get really mad. So there's a podcast that's on Spreaker, and it's called Paranormal castle uh the guy who does that is goes by the name of wolf man you can find it if you like normal stuff then go to it but i'm not too happy with him either more about that later so i'm in this discord server and for those who do not know discord know that it's a lot better than skype you can have a, a shared voice chat you can stream your show through Discord and have people call in to your Discord and be on your, your Spreaker show or whatever show you're having. And um, it's a little bit like the Wild West. It was created for gamers, by gamers, but a lot of alternative communities have uh, got on the raft, on the boat. They're on that Discord boat in the, the ocean but except the water around this boat is red. <laughs> Just saying that it's not for the faint of heart, right? And I've taken a lot of crap from other people. I have. On Spreaker, on different social platforms. And I'm at the point where, you know, school's in session. It really is. I'm just... I don't know. So let's go to the Discord service that... Um, I think it's called Paranormal Castle there too. Really can't remember the name of it. But the person that owns it again is Wolf Man. You know, a guy who loves to smoke weed, get high, get drunk. And he lives in Canada, so Americans are safe from him. So we're in this Discord, him, I, and a lot of others. And they have a chat room while people are in voice. I said, Darren, where's my $100? Like it wasn't threatening at all. Or even mean-spirited. He kicks me out of the Discord. He's co-host to this wolfman of Paranormal Castle. And um, so I get an invite. Somebody invites me back in and I go into voice chat. I said, so Darren, you owe me $100. Or Darren, where is my $100? It's one of those two statements. And it's not in a mean, threatening way. He goes, that's it. I'm banning you from the server. Like, I can never come into the server. Like, who are we kidding? I don't even go in there very often, right? I mean, it's just not my cup of tea. It's just not. So, I'm banished. And he still keeps giving me a hard time. I never bet you. That wasn't the bet. You know, and I'm thinking, maybe it's just his brain. You know, just... He's had problems. Maybe he's not remembering right. And Beppe, remember the nice guy? 
you know, he backs me up. Yeah, you lost the bet, Darren, you know, would say things like that. And then he just goes over the deep end. Uh, let me get my, um, I hope it doesn't end there. Let's see here. I got to get my screenshot here of where he says, you haven't seen me mean yet. I mean, I'm like, really, bitch? You know, just, he's misogynistic. Like, it's okay for a guy to do what he did, but not me. Let's see here, Darnella. I said, morning. And I said, I want my $100, Darren. He goes, nah, you don't need it. You would just buy drugs. I've never even smoked a cigarette. And then, of course, someone called Debbie Daly. She must have gotten her pills. Whatever. And then he goes on to say, yes, she drove to the hospital last night. She truly is the worst person I've met here. He hasn't met me. At least the KKK took her in. And I, I responded by saying, yes, I did drive. It took me about an hour and a half. And then, of course, I said, you haven't met me. And then Darnella, Darnell, Dar Darren says this, I'll never unban you from Wolfman server. Whoops. Where did it go to? Oh, there it is. Go drive your car into the lake. You have never seen me mean before, but you're about to, which I respond, how so? And Darren says, don't worry, I won't be talking to you anymore. Bye. And I respond by saying, I prayed for you this morning and you could use it because I thought his brain was having a problem. Oh, boy. And they continued to talk about me, you know, asking what I got at the hospital, assuming it's pain pills or something like that. And I said, nope, did have a piggyback of antibiotics. Now, last time I checked, that wasn't addictive. Whatever. Let's see what else. It's just nuts. I don't see any more from him because I think he left at that point. But anyway, let me go back over here. I'll okay, get it still on. So he continues to talk and chat like that, or voice chat, I should say. And I'm fed up. So I snapped. You know, when I was talking to Wolfman, which I tried to contact him, I said, Do you know what he's up to? No. Uh, and then I labeled off XYZ. You know, why would he? kick me out and ban you just because I asked him about the $100 bet that he lost. I don't know. You know, he goes, well, Darren can do whatever he wants. He's my co-host. Okay, so he can do whatever he wants. And at this point, I am contacting the police because I don't know if this deranged, well, I guess that's the wrong word. He has uh, mental problems because of his brain surgery he had. What's to stop him from coming here? I mean, what the hell? He's not wanted here. What did he mean about you're about to see, you know, about being, you haven't seen me get really mean. Uh, I worry for his wife. I mean, he's never with her hardly. He's always on Discord. Anytime I, I click in to see what's going on, there he is. You know, he's obsessed with certain women on Spreaker. But maybe that's a blessing for her in disguise because if he's mean like that, you know, he talks about my kid. I don't talk about his kid, who's more than an adult and has suicidal ideations. See, there I did it. I did it. You know, I don't understand with a man that has so much misery, so much pain in his life, that he would inflict pain on other people. I mean, the guy is not, he's not shooting on all eight, if you know what I'm saying. So, um... Oh, and Apocalypse. Apocalypse doesn't like the way I'm talking. I'm, I'm giving pushback, you know, kickback to this misogynistic asshole. And I don't have a problem, or I didn't have a problem with calling the police. I don't have a problem letting the truth out. And if that's your co-host and it happens to hurt your podcast, that's on you, Wolfman. That is on you. You know, because, uh, man... I guess I shouldn't be surprised at his behavior because he is an alcoholic, a drug addict. Uh, I don't know if he does now, but he used to sell and sell his weed. Maybe that's legal in that part of 
Canada. I don't know. I don't know. But I've heard some a lot of disturbing things from him throwing things at his girlfriend who goes by Marijuana Mama. Marijuana Mama. You know, just a lot of disturbing things have been out here on Spreaker for everybody to hear. I'm just, wow. And then he's too drunk to remember the next day. And these are facts, and none of us, none of us are innocent. You know, I'm mad about Bloomberg, too. But I'm not going to rant about that right now. But um, for Apocalypse, Darren, and Wolfman, never again. Just never again. And I think women should be wary of them. I mean, he did some awful things, Apocalypse did, to a woman that's on Spreaker, who's a Spreaker host. I mean, maybe people from Spreaker shouldn't meet each other. Did you ever think about that? Ugh. But it's the Wild West here, and it's loud. But I would be careful about going to Discord to sour apples. Unless you're a misogynistic man, and then by all means, go. Have yourself a good old time. And then, um, Paranormal Castle. I don't even think I got that name right. Like I said, I, I don't. I had not gone to, to a server that much, and his shows are like five hours, eight hours. I mean, oh my God, who even listens to an hour anymore? An hour is too long. Forty-five minutes, thirty. You know, you're pushing it, but people will listen. But five hours? I mean, I know some other people that do five hours on Spreaker or YouTube. You know, drunken peasant. They're they're much better at it. Like, they actually have a good show. And you may not like them, but their show is productive. You know, and they do talk about different issues that a number of us could relate to, you know, at this point in our life or maybe earlier or later. You know, they're versatile. They're versatile. They're not into this throw-dirt type of podcast. And it seems like that's all Apocalypse knows. Matter of fact, he did a podcast earlier talking about me. You know, that I was threatening this person and that person. I'm like, are you really fucking kidding me? Not safe for people under the age of 18. Are you really kidding me? You know, here you allow people to do so much on your server, but all of a sudden you're going to kick me out for doing the same goddamn thing everybody else does. Just wow. I think really why he did it, I named that... uh other Spreaker host that I kind of was liking what she was doing now. Just a comment. And I could almost hear the tension on the other side of the state in Arizona. Like, what, bitch? You know, he didn't like I even mentioned the girl's name. The lady's name, excuse me. You know, and it is what it is. It ended badly. But, um, I don't know. Maybe you're just as much to blame as she is. There was two parties in that so-called relationship. I mean, maybe this is something the One Angry Jew should comment on. The One Angry Jew has a show on here. Um, I don't know if he's done a podcast lately, but he sure is entertaining. A lot of people blackball him because he brings up topics that others don't like to hear, especially when it invalidates their opinion. It is what it is. Well, anyway, I might be back later. I, I got a lot of stuff to get done. But I thought I would do a quick podcast. And I'm staying off Discord until the police take care of that person called Darren. I could drop his last name here. You know, he works in Washington. You know, I know where he works, so the police can find him there. Yeah, and that is considered a threat and all the other things he's done. So I hope you have a nice day, Darren.